what really inspired you to actually want to run in this race in, in Minnesota? Well, I've been thinking about the political for a long time, um, just in my own journey. Uh, I came from a history where I fought the NBA around mental health policy at an early age, 21 years old, when a lot of people weren't talking about mental health, but they certainly weren't really talking about corporatocracy either. Um, especially not in the context of professional sports being being a, a representative of a, of a global corporate community. Um, so, you know, that's the that's the journey I've been on for the last 10 years It's just standing on a soapbox kind of as a renegade nomad um, political establishment rebel. And uh, I think the George Floyd situation for me was a real turning point in that you know, through my journey, I was able to see how powerful the mainstream media's control on the narrative is personally in my own experience with my own narrative. <laughs> um, but but um, just in general as well, because mental health is such a broad topic. And so when the George Floyd situation broke out, I knew that the establishment was going to try and hijack and weaponize that moment in a variety of ways. And uh, you know, I just I just took a ministry of truth into the belly of the beast, and and I wanted to, you know, see what was going on on the front lines. I had been aware of Black Lives Matter um, and, and some of their, you know, protests and things over the years, but I had never been involved in in, in any grassroots way, um, and and so I had only seen it through the vector of what I was shown in, on with content, right? Whether it be TV, the internet, et cetera, and I needed to know what was really being said. And uh, it was an interesting thing because I was able to prove to myself and some others here in the community that the Democrat platform is really a house of cards and that black people are being uh, intentionally used as a sort of calling card uh, for intersectionality, which is a very per pervasive Marxist, um, you know, radical, hyper-materialistic point of view. <clears throat> and, and many black people per se in these communities don't really believe in it. I certainly don't. Um, and many of us had no idea that, that they, had, they were using these types of situations when it comes to police and, and citizen or civilian conflict to push this ideology. And so when I got out there and I saw it, immediately I just pushed back against it. You know, I marched just to the Federal Reserve. I led these peaceful protests. I marched just to the Federal Reserve. You know, I stood out in front of U.S. Bank Stadium. I talked about corporatocracy and sovereignty and all of these ideas that, uh, you know, many, many uh, millennial purple haired white liberal women looked at me like I had three eyes. Um, and so it, it was all very enlightening. And I realized that, um, our political leaders had really just sold us out. They had sold us out to this cultural movement and, and this war against American culture, uh, against America, this anti-American movement, but they had also sold us out to corporations in this globalist agenda as well. And I was able to then, you know, tie the two together and, and say, I gotta run for office.